Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we used Sneaky Goblins again to steal gold and elixir fast. Today I'm feeling some P.E.K.K.A farming army, but on a totally different level. Hey what's going on guys, my name is Joe and welcome back for episode 20 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. So yesterday's episode we did some serious farming with the sneaky goblins and you'll see that I have to take a break yet again because we're back up to 7 million in the gold and elixir department still full on the dark elixir now you will also notice that our archer queen will finish in exactly 21 hours and 58 minutes so we got a ways to go there's really nothing we can do on this account now this is the reason why i have multiple accounts and players keep asking how many accounts do you have i have nine accounts do i play all of them absolutely not we just rotate through town hall 11 because that's where we're at in the series right now now we also have a new base this is a custom design this is not an internet base but i'm about to turn it into to an internet base by linking it down in the description below for you guys to try out for me now right now i can't necessarily say whether it works or not because my defenses are still very very low so i can't really justify saying that this base is very strong or not because again my defenses are still behind but we have been hit a few times i've been hit twice with this base both of them two stars and one of these armies made me think a minute and i was like whoa man we haven't used pekkas at town hall 11. i like pekkas i know a lot of you guys out there like pekkas as well so we're going to watch this replay and just show you what not to do with Pekka's because this is actually a Town Hall 12 hitting a Town Hall 11. He doesn't have his Archer Queen, but that doesn't even necessarily matter because he just drops his Pekka's in a manner to where they're going to go around the outsides of the base. He does no funneling at all, meaning that he doesn't clear out any of these exterior buildings to focus his Pekka's inside the base. And so they're going to do exactly what Pekka's tend to do. Stay outside. I mean, that's pretty common knowledge when you've been playing as long as I've been playing it and as long as many of you guys have been playing, we all know that if we use P.E.K.K.A.s, we got to try to funnel them in a little bit. So this base did stand up, sort of. The Town Hall's placed out there on purpose, but, that you know, it's just one of those things. Give up the star and hope that they don't get my Dark Elixir, which they did not even come close. So... Yes, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Joe version 2 account today because, again, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's absolutely nothing I can do on this account. So, editor, bring the uh, zoom it in for Oops. me so that way I can hold on to my accounts. We don't need my information out there. So, here we go. We're going to jump over to the Joe version 2 account, and we're over here. This is the army that we're going to be using today, and I've gone in and tried to use it without heroes, without clan castle troops, without siege machines because I know some of you guys are kind of concerned about that stuff you say that i can't get clan castle troops i can't get the siege machines does it work and so the real answer behind that is absolutely you just got to pay attention to those single target inferno towers single targets versus the pekkas never really a good thing we discovered that back at town hall 10 but now we have the incorporation of the eagle artillery so you got to try to get in there take down that eagle artillery very early in the raid that way you can try to keep your pekkas alive and remember you got to funnel a little bit so we got pekkas over on the left side we got pekkas on the right side and then we're going to send the main group of pekkas up inside the base in the center here they're going to target that eagle artillery very early this is a very poor base design regardless but you know again pekkas are just a fun army to use Use because it doesn't really require a lot we got like seven pekkas 15 wizards and that's basically the army now instead of the super wall breakers i would normally bring five wall breakers instead you can also replace that with a jump spell it doesn't really matter it's up to you and personal preference but we're able to get in here and take down the dark elixir we're not going to three star this base but when we add in the heroes add in the grand warden add in a siege machine and clan castle troops this army gets incredibly op i mean it's just beast mode because the pekkas are so strong so here's what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and get troops together and we're going to go out and do a live raid i'm going to use the entire army i showed you a replay without the clan castle troops without the heroes now we're going to do some with those troops okay so we found a higher weighted base to make it a little bit more realistic for those of you that are trying to hit heavyweight bases like this now quick warning this is a very expensive elixir based army so this is why i say it's more of a dark elixir based army or a dark elixir collecting army we're going to go ahead and start by funneling a little bit by using our king over here dropping a few wizards now we don't want to drop a bunch of wizards in the beginning because we need to save some of those for the back end of the base to make sure that we can have a little bit of cleanup troops if we make it all the way to the end let's go ahead and sneak in a super wall breaker to open up the compartment for our king and pet 
P.E.K.K.A. Let's drop a, a heal spell over there for those P.E.K.K.A.s. And let's go ahead and release some P.E.K.K.A.s right here as well as the Wall Wrecker. Let's get the Queen down, Grand Warden. Let's freeze that Eagle. Probably a little too late because I can't hear it. And looks like our troops are going to move into the base. Let's go ahead and get some Wizards back here to help out a little bit. Let's freeze that Eagle again. And we might have some Clan Castle troops. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. went in and found themselves a giant bomb over in this area, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. Let's go ahead and drop a heal spell there. Let's get a rage spell down for the core. We have a Yeti as well as some Valkyries. Let's drop a jump spell there to tie the base together. And let's use that Grand Warden's ability and drop a rage over here to power up these P.E.K.K.A.s. Get through the base. Come on, P.E.K.K.A.s. You can do it. Let's go ahead and freeze this area of defenses. Come on, P.E.K.K.A.s. Please get to the back side of the base. Queen's ability is going to probably have to be used here in a second. Let's go ahead and use her ability to get rid of that Inferno Tower as well as that Expo. And what do we got going on around the outside? So we got some defenses. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A.s are getting taken out by an Expo. And uh, we were able to get in on the Dark Elixir very easily. Now, if we were to try to make this more of a war-related army, we would more than likely bring some uh, bowlers or some bat spells to make it a little bit more interesting. Unfortunately, we were unable to get very deep into this base because we were just using P.E.K.K.A.s, but not too bad on a heavyweight base, 70%. Let's train up another one and see what we can do on the next raid. But again, just for Dark Elixir mainly, that's what this is for. And it's actually a really fun army to use. Let's go ahead and bail on this one and also if you're trying to get your trophies back that's something else that is a concern for some players getting their trophies back we're already back up into masters three we could keep going with this army and push all the way into masters one maybe even champions league with this army all right so this one has maxed out defenses but the walls have been seriously neglected so let's see what we can do with this one actually the heroes are looking kind of neglected as well but it's okay let's go ahead and drop our king over here and we're going to do a little bit of clearance with our wizards and king on this side of the base let's drop uh uh, hmm, let's do P.E.K.K.A, P.E.K.K.A, and a few wizards to help out here as well. And we're trying to funnel a little bit. We want to try to cycle our troops into the center of the base, but no promises on that. We do have the super wall breakers in this composition. We don't necessarily have to have them. They can be used to kind of negotiate your P.E.K.K.A.s deeper into the base. Let's go ahead and release some P.E.K.K.A.s. We're going to activate that Eagle Artillery by doing this. So let's go ahead and drop a free spell on it to shut it down for a few moments. And let's go ahead and get our Queen, Grand Warden, and a few Wizards to help out with these uh, ground set skeleton traps. Looks like the Wall Wrecker's on point and the Eagle's going to launch off its uh, payload, if you will. Dropping the Rage spell, dropping a Heal spell in this area for our P.E.K.K.A.s. Let's go ahead and freeze this compartment again for a few moments. Looking good so far, looking good. Looks like we got Bowlers inside of our Wall Wrecker. Let's go ahead and use our Grand Warden's ability. Rage spell, and let's go ahead and drop a jump on the back end of the base to try to help out a little bit. Looks like everything's gonna power through this base. Let's uh, hold on to that freeze spell for a moment. Looking good, looking good so far. Not too bad. Um, hmm, bowlers are getting chewed up pretty bad. Queen is on the opposite side. Let's go ahead and drop a heal spell right here for our troops. And they're going to cut through some walls. We do have the, the uh, super wall breakers. Don't forget about that. And we also have the wizards. Now, where did my queen go? I lost her in this whole montage of stuff that's going on here. All right, so queen's caught up on a wall for a moment. She's going to take the jump. We're going to have to use her ability, take out some additional defenses, and she's going to work on some stuff up here. Let's drop a wizard, but where did our P.E.K.K.A.s go? See, everything just gets all spread out on this army. So, I mean, realistically, like I said in the previous replay, this is more for your dark elixir but it also is just a very powerful army now in order to change this to be a little bit more realistic as a three-star army we need to add more bowlers to the army to basically get that double bounce on buildings on the back side of the base and we can't open up the wall with our super wall breaker now to open up this compartment for our pekkas but it looks like our pekkas have taken some serious damage and we're about to run out of time so i mean we're not going to be able to three-star this base but we were able to clear a bulk of it regardless so we're not going to wait on this i don't think let's not wait on this we're going to go ahead and drop our barbarian and i think i'm going to make some adjustments to this army to make it more of a pekka smash so it looks like we're going to need some bowlers to step it up a little bit we're going to get a high percentage two star on a pretty strong base i mean all the defenses were maxed out the only difference here is is the funneling of our troops and making sure that our troops kind of stay on the same direction oh, the directional path if you will because what happens here is they spread out all over the base and that's not necessarily what we want to happen so i'm going to drop a few pekkas add some bowlers and we're going to finish up this video with a pekka smash style army 
So what we've discovered throughout the first couple of minutes of gameplay in this video is that seven P.E.K.K.A.s for Dark Elixir is actually quite nice, but we're going to take it to the next level and we're going to hit this base by using the P.E.K.K.A. Smash army. So we have healers, which would be used more into a queen walk that turns into support for your P.E.K.K.A.s. And then we also have the bowlers in the composition as well to really beef up the power of this army. We're going to go ahead and release a baby dragon to try to direct our queen towards the opposite side of the base now this base is actually quite perfect and very basic because we have an air defense that's within range of the archer queen if she continues her descent towards the area where we want her to walk now on the opposite side we need to try to set up the funnel by dropping our barb king maybe a baby dragon right there to try to clear out some buildings and this queen is going to basically clear out the top portion of this base and so this is the major difference between the army that we started out with and turning it into a specific um three star strategy if you will so we're going to go ahead and drop some pekkas and we're going to have to worry about that eagle artillery setting off which is going to do let's go ahead and freeze it and let's go ahead and get some bowlers down as well as our grand warden wall wrecker is going to open up the compartment and we're going to go ahead and drop a raise spell for our troops they're going to lead into this compartment looking pretty good so far wall wrecker's got a nice path and we need to freeze that eagle again to give our troops a little bit of time that way we don't have to waste our grand warden's ability very early actually we got a bunch of giant bombs that we have to worry about so that is a little bit of a concern let's get a rage spell down in the core let's drop a jump spell tying this back portion of the base together eagle artillery will fall and the bowlers are going to lead the way let's go ahead and freeze these defenses and let's get a well we were a little late on the heal spell for our bowlers well then okay let's get a heal spell down over here even though it's a little bit redundant since we do have healers linked into our pekkas let's go ahead and get a giant down over here to block for these wizards we're going to do some back end cleanup and we got one more rage spell in our composition so let's do this let's see where's everything going to go looks like everything's moving up towards the top side of this base we're going to save that rage spell healers are on the bowlers which are in the core let's go ahead and drop our rage spell right here and the pekkas are going to have to cut through a wall which is pretty common stuff for them looking pretty good so far we still got our queen's ability so that's not too bad they're going to go into that inferno tower the pekkas are going to branch out taking out multiple buildings getting bounces off of multiple buildings with the bowlers and this is where the bowlers really set this army off by being able to target buildings on the outside of walls looking good so far we should solidify things with a three star let's go ahead and open up this compartment using the queen's ability she's going to destroy one more defense they're going to break through take down the final archer tower and that is going to be it so we might need to work on this army a little bit in the future and this is really showing me why i definitely need to upgrade my pekkas on my joe version 6 account so it's going to be a top priority in the upcoming weeks because they're just genuinely a lot of fun now the purpose of today's episode was to serve two purposes one change up the madness from using cheap fast armies like the sneaky goblins there's nothing wrong with that but you do tend to lose a lot of trophies so if you want to gain your trophies back you would switch more into a sizable army like the pekkas now we proved that seven pekkas will still dark elixir just as well as they did back at town hall 9 and town hall 10 you just have to worry about those single target inferno towers because they will get roasted really really fast now if you want to take that army to the next level you will have to drop some pekkas add some bolts add some healers and do a little bit of queen walking and you should be able to turn it into a very sizable three-star strategy that's actually quite popular and still very much viable on the correct basis if you enjoyed our content make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see the progress in the town hall 11 free to play series click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care